This is Gaurav Khot from Ping Identity. I am a principal architect responsible for the Ping One Neo product. Ping One Neo is a suite of products for decentralized identity, which have been in development for over eight years. Today, I'm going to talk about how we are helping developers accelerate the adoption of standards-based verifiable credentials via our partnership with the Open Wallet Foundation. Let's take a look at some of the open source projects we are proposing to release in the near future. First project I would like to talk about is the Credential Format Support Project. We are building support for ISO 23220 MDOC style credentials, SDJWT credentials, and JWT verifiable credentials. We're building a set of libraries that will enable developers to create, read, and verify credentials in multiple formats. This project is primarily focused on integrating into your wallets, but we have designed the projects in a way that will allow you to embed the Java libraries into your Java server applications as well. We'll provide interfaces to provide key material, credential subject, and format specific parameters. We'll also include support for creating redacted versions of the credentials for selected disclosure, format permitting. This project is in progress with the support for ISO 23220 format MDOC and JWT based verifiable credentials already baked in and ready to be released as open source. We're expecting this project to be open sourced by the end of Q4 2023. Next, I'd like to talk about support for OpenID for verifiable presentation. OpenID for verifiable presentation has been in the works in development for quite a while. And we have, been, we have been actively participating in multiple profiles to support the presentation of verifiable credentials using OpenID for VP. We'll provide Android and iOS libraries to read authorization requests from verifiers and post authorization responses. Support for multiple response types, support for multiple response modes, as well as multiple decentralized identifier methods as well will be a part of this project. We are supporting the implementation of two specific profiles, the ISO 18013.7 for presentation of MDLs over the internet using OpenID for VP and the JOT VC presentation profile. Project is implemented and ready to be shared with the OWF in the coming months. We think support for presentation exchange is critical for being able to communicate between wallets and verifiers. And we are going to build support for presentation exchange 2.0 as Android and iOS libraries. This project will include wallet libraries to read presentation definitions and wallet libraries to create presentation submissions. On the flip side, We'll also have server libraries to create the presentation definition when requesting for a presentation from a wallet and to process presentation submission returned by a wallet. We'll have a reference verifier implementation as well provided as well. Project ETA is Q1 2024. While we have been actively working on supporting ISO 18 or 13-7 for presentation of MDL over the internet using OpenID for verifiable presentations, this project will provide the iOS libraries for presentation of MDL over the internet to enable support for the unattended use cases. We'll support the device retrieval, device retrieval flows in wallet libraries to implement the CBOR request response REST APIs for a presentation of MDL over the internet. 
This project is in progress and is expected to be shared with the OWF by Q1 2024. Next, I would like to talk about OpenID for verifiable credential issuance. We are committed to supporting OpenID for verifiable credential issuance, the latest draft, as, as, as we understand it. The support for OpenID for VCI is actively being put into the product. But for this project, we, were, we are working on supporting the newly released OpenID for VCI profile with HD JWT VC format credential issuance. We have plans for supporting the entire OpenID for VCI spec and when we do that, we will be releasing that as open source via our partnership with the OWF. The project will be released as open source via OWF, latest by Q2 2024, hopefully earlier. While we recognize that support for credential formats and protocols for issuance and protocols for presentation are critical to the adoption of standards, adoption of wallets, and adoption of decentralized identity. Ping1 Neo has been in a, a product that has been in development for over eight years. Our Neo product supports full standard protocols and formats, but also goes further, allowing our customers to develop products that can be used in their own ecosystem for decentralized identity. So Ping1 Neo credential format for issuance, presentation, and verification of decentralized identity credentials will eventually be also released as open source. We'll, in the meanwhile, we will release sample iOS and Android apps. We'll publish a public service for issuance of credentials into a Ping1 Neo wallet using the Ping1 Neo native format. Our service and app will also use the open source libraries contributed by Ping to OWF as discussed earlier. This project is implemented and the ETA of Q4 2023 to be shared via the OWF. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Are there any questions on Pink's contribution? But I'm realizing there is a lot of Drummond. Um, these last couple of projects, are they coming in? Uh, what, what project status are they requesting? And, uh, these are collapsed projects, I assume. I'm not sure of that. L how do you want to? So they haven't, uh, they haven't requested yet. OK. Um, the only the, uh, Eric's framework.net in their proposal requested labs, which I was a little surprised about. I thought it would have a lot of requested impact. Uh, but that, that's what they did. Um, or, I'm sorry, requested at least growth, maybe. Right. Maybe not impact, but. Right. Uh, yeah. It's up to the, the project, really. Yeah, OK. So and, and some of these, um, like particularly impact has a high diversity requirement. Um, so if it's a single company effort, they're not going to be able to meet the, uh, the higher project status, right. regardless of the, you know, the maturity of the code. I think we need to take a look onto each of the code projects individually. The PIN contribution, for example, is, is composed of different projects. And some of them are pretty mature. Some of them they just started to work on. And with MOSIP, it's, it's, it's similar. So the OpenID for VCI implementation, for example, they have just started to implement, whereas the, the INGI itself exists for a longer time. So I think we need to show, we need to see what they are proposing in the end and how the pro project split is. What I also noticed is there is a huge overlap between the different projects. 
which I personally see is a real opportunity. Yeah? For example, Pings and, and, and Googles, the proposed contributions more or less are complementary. However, there are, for example, VCI implementations for Android or iOS in MOSIP's contribution and Ping's contribution and so on. I think we should sort it out and then discuss with the, with the contributors and the maintainers um, how we would like to structure that going forward. I'm really looking forward to that. But let's first of all onboard them to OWF. <laughs> okay, um, so that's the, that concludes our pre the presentation of the, of the actual code projects.